Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Today we're going to talk about the wonderful Action Recorder. Have you tried it? Super easy to use and yet so powerful. Let's take a look. To start off with, I'm going to go to the Manage tab on the ribbon. In the upper left hand corner, you're going to see the panel for the Action Recorder. So let me start out by showing you a macro in action, okay? I have a macro loaded up right here, shrub underscore M. I'm going to simply hit play and it's asking me to select an object. All right, I'm going to select this closed polyline here. And what happened? Well, it actually took that polyline and it filled it up with a hatch pattern. It had a specific layer, a specific like scale factor, a specific rotation angle, all with one little click on my part, right? Very, very powerful. So the goal behind the action recorder is that you record a series of steps and then you can play it back over and over again as many times as you want. Okay, it's really very simple. Let me show you how it's done. All right, so I'm going to record a macro. We're going to do a simple one. I'm going to hit record and let's just do some, some simple things. I'm going to go in the circle command and I'll go ahead and I'll pick the center of a circle and I'll just arbitrarily pick a radius. Now watch on the left hand side. You see that action recorder panel? It's showing you step by step in the action tree what I've done. All right, let's make a copy of that circle. Okay, I'm going to go to the copy command. I'll select my circle. Could have done previous if I wanted to and then I'll make another copy just like that. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's do a zoom. We're going to zoom in just like that. And I think that that's really all we're going to do right now for our macro. Very simple, very straightforward. All right, maybe not one that you would make yourself, but I, I want to show you the basics. All right, so I'm finished. So one thing you should know is you don't have to go quickly. It's not timing you. <laughs> it's just recording your steps. So you can take as much time as you want. You can go off and have lunch between steps if you want to. It's not a problem. Okay, right, I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. It's going to ask me for the name. Okay, let's call this, we'll call this a Catalyst 1. How about that, huh? And I'm going to say, okay. And now I have my macro and now it's loaded up in here and I can actually see in the action tree, I can see all the steps that it took me to get there. All right, so let's erase these circles. Let's do a zoom previous to go back out. And now we're going to play it. Let's play our macro. Let's hit play. And you'll see, oh, how fast was that? It went really, really quickly. But behind the scenes, you can see that it drew a circle, it, it made a copy of it, and then I zoomed in, all right? Okay, let's, let's go back. All right, now let's take a look at some other things that you can do. Now, it's very rare that you're gonna be placing a circle in the exact same spot in every single drawing, right? You wanna be able to pick where you want your objects to go. So I can actually, right up here, where it says specify center point, if I want to, I can do a right click, and I can say pause for user input. So the next time I run this macro, it's going to ask me where I want those circles to go, okay? The first circle to go. And uh, I don't really like this particular value, 4.1401. Let's go ahead and edit that, and we'll change it to just a regular 4. How about that? So what else can I do? I can also insert a message. I'm going to do a right click, and I'm going to insert a user message so I can talk to the person who's running the macro. I'm going to say, I oh, didn't like that, did it? It's going to say, check out these great circles. <laughs> okay, you can write anything you want. It's just a message. You can be friendly, you can be not friendly. It's completely up to you. All right, so now I'm going to zoom back out. I don't have to erase those circles. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to, I'm going to play it again. I don't have to erase them because this time it's going to ask me to pick where I want the circles to go, right? Okay, let's try it. Play. It's asking, it's waiting for me to select a center point. All right, I'm going to put the, these circles, I'll put them right up here. And then it says, check out these great circles. And I, as soon as I hit close, it does the final step and it zooms in on them. Pretty simple, right? All right, so that was definitely the Reader's Digest version of Action Macros. But what I want you to do is I want you to jump in, I want you to try these, and I want you to see for yourself just how simple they are, okay? All right, thank you so much for joining me, and I am going to see you back here in two more weeks.